Hello class 10th. I, Mrs. Sonia Singh is back again to continue with the chapter Life Processes. Today we'll discuss about the topics transportation in plants and excretion. We have discussed earlier how plants take in simple compounds such as carbon dioxide and photosynthesize energy stored in their chlorophyll containing organs namely leaves. For plants, soil is the nearest and richest source of raw materials like nitrogen, phosphorus and other minerals. Therefore, energy needed for absorption of these materials is low for plants as compared to the energy requirements for the animals to get their minerals. Plants do not move and have a large proportion of dead cells. As a result, plants have low energy needs. Plant transport systems will move energy stores from leaves and raw materials from roots. These two pathways are constructed as independently organized conducting tubes. One the xylem and the other phloem. You have studied about these two complex tissues and their components in detail in your ninth class. Let us start with transport of water. In xylem tissue, Vessels and trochaeids of the roots, stems and leaves are interconnected to form a continuous system of water conducting channels reaching all parts of the plant. Let us see how is it done. At the roots, cells in contact with the soil actively take up ions. This creates a difference in the concentration of these ions between the root and the soil. Water therefore moves into the root from the soil. There is steady movement of water into root xylem, creating a column of water that is steadily pushed upwards. Apart from this method, which cannot be used alone in tall plants, there is another strategy to move water in the xylem upwards to the highest points of the plant body. Before continuing, can you guess what do you mean by transpiration? The loss of water from aerial parts of the plant in the form of water vapors is called as transpiration. Provided that the plant has an adequate supply of water, the water which is lost through the stomata is replaced by water from the xylem vessels in the leaf. Evaporation of water molecule from a leaf creates a suction which pulls water from the xylem cells of roots. This pull is due to intermolecular force of water molecules which is called as cohesion force. This cohesion force between the water molecules creates transpirational pull. Thus, transpiration helps in the absorption and upward movement of water and minerals dissolved in it from roots to the leaves. It also helps in temperature regulation. Now let us consider how the products of metabolic processes, particularly photosynthesis, are moved from leaves to other parts of the plant. This transport of soluble products of photosynthesis is called translocation and it occurs in phloem. The phloem also transports amino acids and other substances. These are especially delivered to the storage organs of roots, fruits and seeds and to growing organs. The translocation out of food is done in the seed tubes with the help of companion cells both in upward and downward direction. Translocation in phloem is achieved by utilizing energy. Material like sucrose is transferred into phloem tissue using energy from ATP. Now let us study about excretion. We have already discussed how organisms get rid of gaseous waste generated during photosynthesis or respiration. Other metabolic activities generate nitrogenous materials which need to be removed. The biological process involved in the removal of these harmful metabolic waste from the body is called as excretion. Many unicellular organisms remove these wastes by simple diffusion from the body surface into surrounding water. Whereas complex multicellular organisms use specialized organs to perform the same function. So let's talk about excretion in human beings. The excretory system in human beings includes a pair of kidneys, 
a pair of ureters, a urinary bladder, and a urethra. Kidneys are located in the abdomen, one on either side of the backbone. Urine produced in the kidneys passes through the ureters into the urinary bladder where it is stored until it is released through the urethra. Now the question is, how is urine produced? The purpose of making urine is to filter out waste products from the blood. Nitrogenous waste such as urea or uric acid are removed from blood in the kidneys. The basic filtration unit in kidneys is a cluster of very thin walled blood capillaries. Each capillary cluster in the kidney is associated with the cup shaped end of a tube called Bowman's capsule. It collects the filtered urine. Each kidney has large number of such units called as nephrons. Some substances in the initial filtrate such as glucose, amino acids, salts and a major component of water are selectively really reabsorbed as the urine flows along the tube. The amount of water reabsorbed depends on how much excess water there is in the body and on how much of dissolved waste there is to be excreted. Urine is stored in the urinary bladder until the pressure of expanded bladder leads to the urge to pass it out through the urethra. The bladder is under nervous control. As a result, we can usually control the urge to urinate. As kidneys are vital organs for survival, several factors like infection, injury or restricted blood flow to kidneys reduce the activity of kidneys. This leads to accumulation of waste in the body. In case of kidney failure, an artificial kidney can be used. It is a device to remove nitrogenous waste products from the blood through dialysis. In dialysis, the patient's blood is passed through the dialysing machine for the removal of metabolic waste and pure blood is then pumped back into the patient. Plants use completely different strategies for excretion than those of animals. Oxygen is thought as waste product during photosynthesis. Excess water is rid of by transpiration or guttation. Plants shed off dead old cells through old leaves. Plants waste stored in vacuum. Waste products stored in leaves which are shed off. Resins and gums stored in old xylem. Plants also ex excrete some waste substances into the soil ar around them. That was all in this chapter. Thank you.